At any rate, next to heart, um, where are you going to? Standing cycle shop. Then there it. was the Wesleyan Chapel. That's it, which is all gone. Yes, my daughter was the last one to be married in there before it was pulled down. I'm going back to the gas works, I'm going to put my, my forefathers in. Our father ran the gas works more or less. He's been there for 18 years. And he was the town's lamp lighter when we met all the gas lamps up the street. Yeah. And anybody men that wanted to get to work early, then you ask him if he'd just tap the window with his lamp pole and wake them up at 4 o'clock by the morning. So that you know. Put that in for our dear old dad. Yeah, that's Just right. killed in the fumes from down there, but um, yeah. Don't tell him what happened up Church Street. <laughs> no, no, so Come on, that's don't die yet. Yeah. You're busy uh, telling this us about yeah. 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 That's not to do with it. Then there's a, just past the chapel with a red line, isn't it? No, um. There were a, couple, a couple or three cottages before yeah, you got to the red line. Withers. Withers, Withers used to live yeah. there. Um, then the red lion. Because the red lion is no longer the red lion. No, it's a toad. Oh, that's another thing. It's called it now. Toad and trout. Toad used to be Paddy Burke's diner. Well, then just on the end of that, that used to be um, the unemployment place where we used to go in. The sign on the door or anything like that. That was Mr. Honeybone. Honeybone, that's right. Next to that was Charlie May, which had a bicycle shop. Number one. But, can I interrupt there? Prior to Charlie May moving along into Charlotte Street, he used to live in a cottage on the corner at Eddington. And he used to let out cycles, people who would like to hire them at threepence and sixpence an hour. Yeah. And when when they had to well when they had to move, but when they moved from Eddington, they went along into China Street and continued with cycle repairs and so on. Yeah. Very important. In it was days. in those days, yes. Go yes. mm. get the old boys out and learn to ride and all on them, now, you what see. What sort of period are we talking about? We talk about those days. 1920-ish, I'm talking about, because yeah. my mother owned a bicycle, but I didn't. Mm. And so that we could go out for a cycle ride together, she would hire from Charlie May down on the corner mm. uh, a bike, and we would go for miles, mm. quite safely. Yeah. Mm. And then the rest of the street there was... Uh, it's cottages, wasn't it? Because Mrs. Cottages. Barnes didn't open hers until... No, not until later on. Uh, near the, the Second out. World War. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Now, yeah. coming up, um, coming back up Bridge Street and, and High Street on the other side, then. There's nothing on the other side, there's nothing the... Uh, well, the... Um, Baker usually was just before the lamp, didn't he? One of the papers. Yes, that was the manse for the, um, the Methodist. Primitive Methodist. Yes, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Then it's Falkland Square. Falkland Square. On the corner, it used to be far shot, far into the place, didn't it? Yes. Just next up to that, well, that come later, you get the library there. Bill Barnes used to... Oh, wait a minute, Brooks. before Bill Barnes was there, the Brooks is there. Right. And Brooks, Freddie Brooks, right. who le left, lost a leg in the First World That's War, right. had a shoe snobs business. Round, not at the front of the house, but round the side. Yeah, the used to get served through a little bit of a window. That's know. right, yes. Then uh, the big house was... Dr. James. Dr. James. Yes. And prior to that, there was a tannery. Because the back garden, 1950-ish, uh, was laid out in the squares of the vats. You know, that they had the, yes. the large vats yes. with the yes. tanning in. Yes. Mm. Hope they didn't pollute the river. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> bothered about things like that in those days. <laughs> no. no, yes, that's right. 
Mm. Mm. Then you had the forge, of course. Yeah, oh, you haven't got there yet. Oh. <laughs> ah. Got oh. International oh. stores. We go back to your point. Where um, Sterling Courage is now. No, no, no. Go back to where you were. Yeah, where they were, on, they were on the corner, big house on the corner. Yeah, yeah, but I'm going back a bit. Where Stirling Courage is now? Oh yes. There used to be one down there. It was Gibbons's Ford. Would you use Ford? That's all right. Mm. I'm going to say you down the An back of that. factory. Factory. Mm. Yes, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Because over the road, going over the bridge and into Eddington, you had cocktails which yeah. you've heard about. Yeah. Because John Newton spoke about those that's in right. one lecture that he gave. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And uh, they come up over the little bridge and where all the new houses are in there. Well, you didn't really get the War Memorial first, lad. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, what was in the War Memorial place? Come on. Ooh. International stores. Before they moved up the high street. Yes. They were there and then they moved up the other they side. They moved up the, the other side, side up high into the high street oh, wow. and that piece of land was taken as a war memorial. Oh, war memorial yeah. Which of course is still there. Yeah. That was only they moved across the road to the gateways. Was that yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. So we got the war memorial, then we got the forge. Yeah, we're all the new age. That used to be a, a board in a big castle. You start with four of them, yeah. yeah. And there were only two or three houses there because, I mean, that was marshland and it was mm. liable to flood if the people in charge of the mill didn't attend to the hatches in time after we've had a heavy downpour. Yes, please. Mm. And it made it, yeah, which is good that I read it was supposed to go on there. They had to make sure it should be really sunny town because there used to be two cottages there. Were there? Yeah, well, I only know that because our parents told me. I, I wouldn't know. Well, on the before. same side as the International the or on the other side of the river? Before the International was there, apparently. Oh. Yeah. I didn't know that. She was on about it once and, and she said that and I said I wasn't in the twinkle of my dad's eye not when they were there, you know. I, I mean, I can't even remember the International being there. No, no, I remember no, no. one being at the time mm -hmm. where old Mr. Rouse used to work. No, but I couldn't pass away. Then Johnny Gorn. Mm -hmm. got the John Gorn. Right. We have the barley bow. Yeah, what was the big house in there? He lived in there. Andrews. Andrews, that's right. George Andrews and his sister. That's George, because and I've already uh, put your sugar in. Then, uh, what Sterling got now used to be the barley bow. Yes, that's right. Sugar? Yes, sugar. Sugar? Yes, please. Thank you, I see you were. <laughs> and it broke off.